Anyway, I want to hear more about Italy. Marona Mia. <laughs> What's that mean? <laughs> Instead of Mama Mia, you say Marona Mia. What does, what it does mean? that mean? I don't know. It's Mama Mia. <laughs> I don't know. You just say it a little different? Throw a little swag on I it? I learned some new words. T- give me some more. Ciao, Bella. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> It's like you're saying like a girl, like you're hot, damn near. Like Mm. you're beautiful. And you want to say a man is hot because I know you're sus. You say, (laughs) ciao, bello. Ciao, bello. Change the A to an O. And then you say, verissimo. Ciao, bell X. Verissimo. If they're trans. What does that mean? Like you're magnificent. What did you just say? Ciao, bell X. What's that mean? Like Latin (laughs) X. What's wrong with this? We want to fuck with trans people as well. Oh. (laughs) Okay, so what? Okay. (laughs) Yeah, why? Let's start off here. When did the idea to go to Italy come about? And what was the circumstances? Like, you just went out there with your girl and her family, or what? And why didn't you invite any of us? Oh, oh, oh. I I doubt that little house phone would be (laughs) elephant in the room. Go have them. Go have them. That's just what I want to do. I want to be just like (laughs) sitting out in the hall while you and your girl are having passionate sex. Pause. Okay. Not like yeah. That. Here, this is people like this. This is golden. <laughs> Leno, we have a new we're signing. Gonna, we're gonna put this on plug talk fine. clips. His name he is AD. Came around. Oh. We've been waiting for up. this day. His name is Johnny Cochran Jr. <laughs> That's my brother. A I'm guy a came up to Kiki the other day in Long Beach and said, "I fuck with Johnny Cochran." Shout out to Long Beach. Shout out to motherfucking Lord Fubu Shout for the Lord hat, Fubu, man. man. Mm. Shout but, out to the bum who was sleeping in front of Joey Fats' store. What? <laughs> What happened? He was just on his story because like a bum keeps sleeping in front of his store in Long Beach and he keeps saying like, I got $100 for whoever beat the shit out of this motherfucker whenever he's sleeping. I'm like, I got a friend. He's like, rip the blanket off of him. Yes. Why is Vel not? Vel needs to be a homeless bounty hunter. Yes, that's good. Oh, that's perfect for him. I mean, he could just sleep somewhere else. He doesn't have to necessarily sleep in front oh, of the Sammy homie store. Can he go next door? Probably yeah. A lot of places would be cool with you sleeping Maybe there. Maybe an alley. Joey Fats ain't cool with it. So now I know. Okay, let's stay on track. Okay, sorry. What inspired... It's bad podcasting, Adam. Right. Terrible He's podcasting. Right. Yeah. What inspired um, the well, initial I knew, trip? I Mario Brothers? <laughs> Go. I knew a long time ago. A Luigi. I knew a long time ago. Let me the Papa John's. He wanted to find out where it came from. <laughs> niggas, he said, I said, well, I want to find the origins of this guy that said the N-word. <laughs> they sell pizza. You were trying Amazing to confront him out there? <laughs> You get on. You go to customs. Show me the owner of Papa John's. Oh. Like what? Hey, no, no, I had bro. It was, it was a, it was a big trip. <laughs> That's funny though. It was. <laughs> okay. Right, wait. okay. It was a big trip because I, I knew my girl's birthday was on the twenty fifth, but her family was going to Italy, mm. right? So I was like, I don't want to miss that much time Mm. so i was like all right i'll come the week of your birthday i'll come stay a week or something like that so i flew out there but see i didn't want to vlog but i ended up vlogging like the whole thing and shit because you got bored no because i fucking went to the airport right they delayed my flight they sent me to amsterdam they with a five hour delay right and delay me again for five hours and then i go to paris and i have another five hour delay in paris Oh and I'm God. just like, I'm just vlogging. What the all, fuck? Yeah, I'm vlogging all this shit. I'm glad and this didn't happen to T Rail. Yeah. I know. He <laughs> <laughs> like, Josh! Call it Josh! I'm a fucking star! <laughs> I, well, my limo is not in Amsterdam! <laughs> <laughs> I've been on tour with Lil Wayne! <laughs> you niggas not finna reroute my flight! <laughs> Delta, you don't know that. I was on tour with Nicki Minaj. <laughs> I met Drake <laughs> when he had a fucking part in his head. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> on trip. Oh. All right. Oh. Westside Hoover, y'all niggas will stop God, playing God with me. It. He's oh. pissed. He's sitting at home with smoke <laughs> coming out of his, steam coming out of his ears. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, that might have yeah. been one of your best jokes of all time. That was pretty good. Yeah, that okay. was good. So so it took you what, like 20, 20 extra hours? 24 hours to get there. God damn. damn. And it was supposed to be what, like eight? Um, no, 10? eleven. Probably long. Okay. Oh, that's, something like that. that's not that. Eleven, bad. twelve. Okay. Cause you gotta take you gotta take like a three hour flight, and then you take like a ten or eleven hour that's flight. That's the worst thing. The thing I hate about traveling is like to Europe and shit is like, you know, if you're gonna be there for a week. You're realistically going to spend like two full days traveling, traveling. And like those are two days where you're just basically doing nothing. Bro, nothing. It's rough. That's why you got to like, you got to make trips like that worth it because there's no way you want to spend two days out of seven. That's why I like going out there for like a couple weeks if possible. Mm. That's what everybody says. You need to stay out there a month. Oof. 
That'd a month fire. is long. Yeah. Imagine we all went out to Italy for a month and did the podcast from there. Like sitting on top of a fucking what's those shits called? Like, would, like one of those rowing boats. What are we gonna <laughs> talk about? You would definitely about have being like in Italy. Ten Italian women signed to the Adam and Linda Pork You taking a global? He's coming out with contracts. No, I'm locking my wiener down. Cap. You're trying to lock them down on a contract? Nah, they ain't got no baddies out there, do they? What? Yeah, bro, it's of Italy. Of course. <laughs> Bro, Italian white bitches got the fattest asses You're, of all white women. Really? I think it's like Italian and then like Australian. He's not allowed to tell us if he thought yeah, there was a I lot know, of hot huh? girls out there. He probably has to be very careful with his words. He's keeping his. There were hot girls out there. You did see hot girls. Yeah. Okay. They, they're, they're nice Italian women. You're dead. But you want to know one thing <laughs> I nice noticed though? You're fighting. I was off the Amalfi Coast, bro. Right. I go to Positano. Mm. I noticed that there's not one fat person that lives there. I believe that. And I and I I was like, wow. I want the biggest niggas on the island. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> Got the homie feeling self conscious. Fuck y'all niggas. I'm the king. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I kind of was like this. I was looking at everybody. I'm like, like, damn, I need to get in the gym. Damn. Hey, no, but really? It but made, the food must have been insane. No, yeah. let me tell you, it made perfect sense why there were nobody big, bro. It's so the incline of all the steps that you have to walk every day, my nigga. Oh, I would have not. It's made like it. a workout to go do anything. Like I'm like. Really? Bro, it's terrible. Oh, you, you wouldn't have made it. <laughs> yes, can you roll like, us a blunt, too? Thank I'm you. Like, I don't know if I would have made it. You would have been like, you know what? I'm staying in here the whole time. I'm staying time, in the hotel. <laughs> like, to do anything, you got to walk miles. You got to go up a, a heavy incline and stuff like that. But the food was fucking amazing, bro. Really? Yeah, like, I ate at the Gucci restaurant. That shit was wow. crazy, bro. Damn, you got to be special to eat there. Gucci restaurant, Gucci exhibit. And you know, what like. What is a Gucci restaurant? Why do they have a restaurant? They got, Why don't they, they have a restaurant here? They do have a restaurant here. They do? Yeah. I haven't been there. Mm. Well, you need to go. Well, you, take where? Where? you need to go drop it's a bag. It's like uh, Beverly Hills. You can go right now. Maybe I will. You got to make like a... <laughs> this is sure. Ben in the jumper. I'm going to eat at the Gucci restaurant by myself. No, that's hey. kind of hard. Hey, no, Do you I'm have gonna... to make a purchase to eat at the restaurant? No. What Let's if you're go. wearing full Louis jumpsuit? No. They then probably, you're not. They'll let you in. They'll still, they'll still let you yeah, in. Yeah, they'll, they'll let not? you do anything. Yeah. No, but uh, they have a boutique there where there's only shit that you can buy there. You know what I'm saying? But like one thing that like everybody doesn't restaurant? know that Gucci, not Gucci, but uh Italy makes all the fly designer shit. Yeah. So they shit is like cheap as fuck out there, bro. Because really? it's all like yeah. Italian leather. And you shit say like you that. bought two Gucci shirts for like three hundred bucks. Like three, four hundred bucks. Are you joking? No. How much crazy. was the Goyard shit? The Goyard shit was like cheap. And then this is the good thing too, is that whatever you buy in Italy, when you go to the airport, you get your taxes back. So you get twelve percent back it. off of everything. Rebate. Yeah, basically. What? Yep, at the end yeah, of because it. I remember you you sent us a video at the Goyard store, and I was like, I was thinking in my head, it's probably not that much cheaper, but that's why I didn't ask you to bring nothing. But if I if I knew it was going to be that much cheaper, bro, I, I would have tapped in. Hell of shit. Okay, what was the first thing you did like when you first got there? You checked into the hotel? Um, I went to, I think I, I, I flew into Venice, and then- Venice was, Beach? No. <laughs> I'm joking. I did not. <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, bro, it was, it was just dope seeing like- all the differences and stuff like that. Yeah. And the food, you know, I'm used to Nick pasta, you feel me? <laughs> and the pasta out here, bro, like, you eat the pasta, you feel so tired. Like, you feel me? It's, mm. it's terrible. So what, what eat do you, that shit. What do you do on an average day, though? Like, you're just walking around, going to get food, you're chilling? Doing, you're doing everything. Really? You're going to eat. We're going, like, we went to go see The Last Supper. We mm. did that shit, you know what I'm saying? That shit was crazy, bro. Like, it what is it, Italian? like a fucking opera or something? The, no, the Last Supper is where, you know, oh, they the got painting. the painting. Oh, paint, the actual Last Supper. The actual Supper. painting of, of, of Jesus with Judas and everything, and they wow. break down, like, the history and shit like that. Wow. It's crazy, too. And, you know, like, for people who, like, don't believe in God and stuff like that, they have, <laughs> Adam. Yeah, Adam. <laughs> so, like, prime example. They like, had, I'm embarrassed. Like, I think it's a secret. They had people try to destroy, like, the building... And what? everything will crumble except like the painting, bro. It's Adam crazy. and his people trying to get for like years and shit. Adam, wow. they they failed. Jesus protected that painting. He did. Shout out to him. What a great guy. Yes. <laughs> he's almost like godly ah, in a way. Ah, godly. <laughs> Just leave it. He's, godly he's, power. He's crazy. That's cool. Um, okay, but so once you like get into the groove, though, do you start to like kind of miss home, or like was it weird for you to be away from all your usual devices out here? Um, no. Because, it, bro, it was it, it was dope seeing, like, all the architecture and stuff, too. Yeah. And, like, while I was out there, bro, the fucking <clears throat> RB shit happened. And, like, my <laughs> mom was, like, flying ding, off ding, the ding, handle. Ding, ding. And mind you, I mean, I have an 11-hour difference. Right. So when the shit is happening, I'm just seeing, like, my phone, like, 
fans is upset. We can tell because we we're all talking about it and you're not saying anything in the group chat. I'm like, oh, man, wait till he wakes up. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but it was dope, though, too, because, like, like when, when, the, when the RB shit happened and I seen how mad, like, the fans was, I was like, damn, like, I really turned this into something that people are, like, invested in and shit like nah, that. that's a fact. You know what I'm saying, too? So, you know, my guy Adam hit me up and he was like, hey, bro. Let's let's uh you should make a restaurant, you know what I'm saying? Put that shit together. And Coffee I was like, burger. let's did do you it. See, did you see any of our uh of us talking about your I, different bro, restaurant? I watched, ideas? I watched the whole episode, bro. I bro episode. That was one of the funniest parts of the episode, was that. But the meme nigga made the fucking bagel shit that was like, I was like, oh, this oh, is perfect. Yeah. Okay, guys, we want to thank you so, so much for getting us to 100,000 subscribers right here on the Clips channel. If you want to support, please click that subscribe button. We're trying to get to 200K. Thank you. Thank you so much.